Okay. Hi, I'm Torsten Nielsen. I'm a senior scientist and clinician scientist pathologist here at the University of British Columbia, and I run a sarcoma research lab. I just want to introduce my team. Let them introduce themselves. Go ahead. Amy Laporte, PhD student. I'm studying the biology of synovial sarcomas. Jennifer Gilbert, PhD student. I'm a junior lab technician here at the Nielsen. I'm Neil Poulin, I'm a research associate and I'm working on bioinformatics. Farzai Jamshidi, I'm an MD PhD student and I'm working on using next generation sequencing to study sarcomas. Christine Chow, senior in laboratory. Thanks, and we have a few people in the team who aren't here today. They're busy working, they're in classes. Um, I myself um, was inspired by Terry Fox when I was a kid to become a, a cancer researcher, and ironically, I ended up studying sarcomas, the same kind of disease that, that Terry had. And, and some of you may know um, that in his time, the cure rate of osteosarcoma disease he's had was 15%, and now it's over 80%. It's just one dramatic example of some of the improvements that have happened in, in cancer care coming from research and from funded research. Other types of sarcoma though have not received the same level of attention. Um, these are rare diseases and yet they're, they're fascinating diseases. I, I really do think working with, with patients and, and looking at the biology of this and other type of cancers that, that many of them are more curable. Uh, we know the actual mutations that cause some of these diseases including synovial sarcoma, the disease that, that Beth has. And yet, because there haven't been many researchers working on it, the drug companies haven't been that interested in, in rare diseases, we haven't been able to, to turn that knowledge into new treatments yet. But we think we can do better, and, and I think I have a, a great team of people here and some really good ideas to work on this, and, and we're working hard right now. Uh, we have a collaboration going with a, with a group in, in Utah, including a surgeon scientist, Kevin Jones, and, and a Nobel laureate, uh, Mary Kopecki, who are, who are working with us to try and see whether we can take some drugs that have been developed for other types of cancer and see that we think they actually work better for synovial sarcoma than any other disease. And we're, we're testing that right now, and that's some of the, the projects that are going on, just one, one of several projects that we hope to fund. And in this work, uh, we're not just interested in churning out scientific papers or uh, making a, a discovery we could, we could trumpet. We're, we're interested in really helping patients, people like Beth and, and thousands of others who, who come down, even with a rare disease on a worldwide level, thousands of people come down with synovial sarcoma every year. I'm part of the NCIC clinical trials group uh, where we, we take these new ideas, we, we take the best ones, we look at the best evidence, we try and build cases, and then we decide what clinical trials we're going to fund. And, and work from our group has already led to three different clinical trials, and we hope to do more of that kind of work. And with the support from, uh, from people like yourselves, um, who, are, uh, who are working hard to give us uh, resources we need, um, I'll be honest with you, we're going to work on this anyway, uh, whether we're, we get funding uh, from, your, from your group, from any other group. Uh, we think it's too important, but the more resources we have, the more we can put into this, the, the faster we can get results to, to help people uh, like Beth and, and many others around the world who have sarcomas. So uh, from, from our team here in Vancouver, I, we just want to thank you for your support.